Hello video editors! In this video, we'll explore the functionality of an extension called Shifter 2, which allows you to staircase clips in Premiere Pro or layers and keyframes in After Effects. If you prefer not to watch the entire tutorial, you can simply right-click elements to learn what they do, or refer to timestamps in the description. The main controls are located in the third row, where you can set the interval value, choose the unit type, and offset items to the right or left. The left direction was mainly added to quickly undo the shifting, but it's not the only way to reverse changes. In After Effects, you don't need to specify to Shifter 2 if you want staircase layers or keyframes. Extension will automatically figure it out based on selected items. So if no keyframes are selected, layers will be shifted. The first row is dedicated to the orientation of the staircase, with options for ascending, descending, and random order. The second row represents independent parameters. The first icon toggles easing for the staircase, which you can control by dragging bezier handles in the graph on the left. Hold Command or Control to mirror the bezier position, Shift to snap to borders, and Alt to keep the handles within the grid. If the graph is disabled, you can enable it by simply left-clicking it. The Live mode lets you see adjustments to the graph and interval in real time. The Each option allows you to set intervals for each item individually, rather than for the entire staircase. If you enable this, the graph will disable itself, as you can't have identical intervals with custom easing. The next icon represents in and out points in Premiere or the work area in After Effects. This allows you to set the staircase duration using these points, which is more practical since you won't have to eyeball the duration. It also works in combination with the Each parameter. The block below is dedicated to presets. Press the plus icon to add a new preset. The name will be generated based on its parameters, but you can rename it if you prefer. You can preview presets by hovering over them. To apply preset, simply click it to shift items to the right and control or command click it to shift them to the left. To edit or delete a preset, right click on it. In edit mode, you can change the preset parameters and once you're ready, Press the Confirm icon that appears near the preset. The fourth row allows you to move items relative to the playhead position. You can bring the selected item's start or end points to the playhead with these icons, or move in and out points with those ones. Note that in After Effects, there's a built-in shortcut to bring the selected layers in or out point to the playhead, called Trim Layer In or Out Point to Current Time. The UI of Shifter 2 can be adjusted to vertical or horizontal orientation to better fit your workspace. That covers all the functionality of Shifter 2. Be sure to grab a free trial at aescripts.com.